Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and it is shit game time once again. And as you can see, we're playing, well if you can work out that word, Ivanhoe on the Amiga 500. Now this was a paid request by YouTuber Dan. I'm sorry mate, you didn't leave the uh, request on the video as your YouTube name. I can only find your um, Dan name under the payment, so I'm sorry mate. But if you want to put another shit game time request forward, please do so. But make sure you also put it on the video request video so then I know what your YouTube name is, mate. And he's picked, well, this game, as I said, he wants this to be flushed down to the poop tube, down the poop tube into the vault of shitness forever. Let's see what we can find out about it. Now, I remember this game back in the day because I had a schoolmate that actually completed this game in front of me. I couldn't believe it. I haven't seen this game since. So that's a good 30 years because I didn't like it. Right, 1990 was the release date. As you can see, it's Ocean, but it's Ocean France. Um, let's see who Pooveloped Yeah, that was Ocean France, who Pooveloped it. Now, who programmed it? There's 11 people that's worked on this game. 11. Five people coded it, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce any of these, because they're all French. Christophe, Christophe, Christophe Lebouille? I don't know. I hate saying these names, because I'm going to get them wrong. Uh, Guilhuami Suvadi sounds really weird, doesn't it? The way I'm saying it. J. Mev. Oh, whatever. Michel Janiki, Stephanie. No, Stefan Muhot. <laughs> That's five coders. Three did the graphics. Dennis Mercier, Michel Bakik, or whatever. Philippe Dis. Whatever. Two did the music. Jean Bidiot and Pierre Eric. No, very French and miscellaneous was Mark Dijan or something there's 11 guys or 11 people that's worked on this game I mean if you were just one person coding it you know where you're going don't you you know what you're doing you know what you've got to you know what's going here you know what's going to go there what I do it it's a nice intro actually isn't it it's a very nice picture that I must admit um, not bad music as well but it doesn't last long but when you've got five of you, it's like, how do you tell each other, right, no, I've done this bit, you do that bit, uh, your coding doesn't match this coding, we can't get this in the game, it must be confusing, it's got to be. Anyway, um, yeah, I even know, the story of this, you've got to, I don't know if you've got to rescue um, King Richard, I assume it's Richard III, or you've got to get him and have him stand trial or whatever, I, I, I do not know, or kill him, I, I, I know you've got to rescue him, I can't remember the ending. But if it's Richard III, well, um, if any of you know your English history, there's a couple of dark secrets that he may have taken to his grave. So we're saying no more about that. Go do your revision, check out Richard III, and you'll see what I'm talking about. He's um, got a rather dark shadow cloud over his, his um, legacy, put it that way. Anyway, say no more, let's get on with the game. And there's going to be a bit of loading here. Um, I haven't seen this game for so long. I mean, as I said, I couldn't believe it when my mate completed it. I don't know if it's a hard game or it's a, an easy game. I'm not sure. I've got a trainer, but I'm not going to bother. There you go. You must deliver King Richard. So in other words, what? Rescue him or, or capture him again? Because it looks like he's in a prison there anyway. Capture him and deliver him to somewhere else. So is Richard III portrayed as a, as a good guy? That needs to be saved. Or is he portrayed as a bad guy and he must be captured? And face trial. Who knows? Ward roses and all that stuff. A long time ago now, isn't it? So there's a bit of loading here. God, I haven't seen this game for so long. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, it's got a small play area. It's that bad. Oh, my God, very small play area. Oh, Jesus, it's all coming back so quickly now. And I remember... I remember the controls, We, I couldn't get on with them. It's like, okay, if you put your guard up, now you can't move forward. You've got to let go of the controls like that and then go, for, uh, and then go forward like that. So you have to stop. There's your thingy, so you can't go anywhere else. You've got to let go and then move. That is really shitty um, control system. See, now for me to go again, I've got to 
we go, okay, we've done that. Do you want to kill another arrow? Go on, there we go. I can't move, I've got to let go of the controls completely, like that. No, it's still not letting me. Will you move? Gotcha. What's that? Okay. Oh, I've got a flaming, a flaming thingamajig. Well, I did have. I still have. Oh, what are you two? Oh, come on. Can I reach him from there? I don't know. Oi! Stop hitting me down there. Have I got rid of one? Yeah. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Well done, whatever that was. And they've got a long reach, these guys, some of them. Oi! Stop it! Oh, it's very cartoony graphics, isn't it? I mean, this is this is like a kid's game to me. The animation, the frame rate is awful on the character. No doubt about that. Can you just move? How'd you jump? Oh, there we go. Oh, he's nailed me. Someone's shooting... Oh, okay. Someone's shooting flames at me. Just there. Come on, then. Come closer. Come closer. Come on, then. You. Oh, what a horrible frame rate. this guy is he gone he's gone oh no 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 jump let's get rid of you get rid of you did I get rid of you it's, oh okay oh oh I remember that it, it splits into two or three doesn't it I remember that I remember my mate getting that weapon Oh, it's all oh, there's three lot. Yeah, what a load of rubbish. Jump. Come on, you. Oh, I want to get that bloody old dealing with him. Oh, I got leveled. This music is, 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 yeah. Not my kind of Amiga music, put it that way. Come on then, you. That time it sent me right back. That's bullshit if it's done that. What did time it sent me right back? That's ridiculous. Jump! Oh, look at my energy now. I'm definitely going to die now, aren't I? <gasps> Jump! Oh no! I was right at the end of the level. Wasn't I at the end of the level? Oh fuck's sake, I'm gonna keep doing this bit. I hate games that send you right back. It's bullshit. Utter bull, come on. Utter bullshit when games do that. Come on, you. Way. Is that it? Jump, jump! Oh, 
Great, pick it up! Thank you. That's what I wanted. No, not again. You're always getting me. Oh, I'm going to do this. What the hell did my... Don't you send me all the way back. I'll... Fuck you! That's ridiculous. Ridiculous send me all the way back there like that. It's nonsense, come on. Send me back all the way like that, that's fucking nonsense. Why? Shit. What? Right. I shouldn't have picked that up. I'd rather have the other one. Oh, I'm not going to get anywhere now, am I? Look at my energy. Look at that. And it's going to send me right back. In fact, it's game over. Fuck's sake. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, going to be a bit more loading again now. Well, I think we get the gist of it. It's like this uh, through all uh, five levels, I believe there is. Five levels. And that play area, if you take the scoreboard away, that's half of the screen is nothing. Like letterbox mode. Absolutely nothing there at all. It's half the screen, literally of play area and the other half is nothing. I'm not going to play this too many times but yeah I know where you're um, coming from Dan. The frame rate is terrible. This is like a kiddie game. you about five fucking times. Oh, my energy's all gone. Yeah, my bloody energy's all gone now. Oh, come on, I got the energy. Seriously. Come on, stop making me wait. It's ridiculous. Oh, fuck's sake. Don't care now. I've already lost fucking interest in this game.
No. Oh, took a hit there. Again. Well, it's only sent me back there now, isn't it? It's this guy. Takes his time. Of course you're going to fire when I fucking aim for him, aren't you? Of course you are. Damn, I could have done that, bird. Yeah. I could have done that bloody bird. I've got no energy, have I? Yeah, see? <laughs> How can he possibly get through that? Ridiculous. It takes one hit, though, doesn't it? through my sword, that's just ridiculous. Any more? Yep. Oh, didn't you get me either? Damn it, I keep missing this guy. Yeah, I thought so. This is fucking pissing me off now. I remember why I didn't like this game. I don't know how my mate completed it. Ridiculous. And it was without cheats because I witnessed it. Yeah, now my time's going. Oh, fuck off. Yes, gotcha that time. Never drop the rocks. I'm not going to collect that other sword this time. Screw it. No, nope, I'm not going to collect it. power now. Oh. oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Yes, I'm gonna die. Hey, I've done level one. I actually did level one. And I got a bonus life. Well, okay. Well, I've done something right, didn't I? More loading time, what's level two? So it's five levels. Oh, that's a boss, is it? Oh, it's a boss fight. Oh, come on. Come on, how am I supposed to f bloody... Ugh. Ugh. 
he's just hacking away, how can I possibly do it? He's got a bigger reach than I have, and he's got a bigger weapon. I'm getting there, but... Uh, come on! I've always got this guy. Uh, come on, move! Get him! He's just cheating! I think she got to hit him, but yay, I got him! Oh, that was close. Was that a bonus level, or was that actually level two? That's probably, that's probably, um, you know, I don't know. It's got a little map. Where am I then? Oh, there's red dots. I'm on a ship now, am I? And I've got to get to that castle. I mean, the graphics are pretty enough, but the game, the gameplay isn't there. Terrible frame rate on the characters. And it's a £24.95 price tag. I forgot to mention that. In today's money, that's around £60. £60, everyone. Ooh, what are those? Oh, that animation on them are terrible. Come on, a little bit closer. You. What the fuck's this? Oh, the animation on this guy is awful. It's so jerky. God, this guy don't want to die, does he? in there that's it's awful controls you want to move left you want to move right but you can't it just sticks and wants to put your guard up all the time I don't know how you're gonna how I'm gonna kill this guy he just won't keep bloody still got him here Yes. Okay. Oh, fuck, really? Really? That's a pissing poxy weapon again. And you, I'm getting fed up with you. Die, I think, can't I? Yes, I'm going to die. Oh, not this. It's not the bomb guy again, is it? Oh, okay. Oh. Is that it? 
No, one more life. Oh, my energy is so fucked up. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. It's got to be game over. If it is, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do me. Well, I've got to level two. But that is not worth 20 bloody £5 in 1990. Around 60, 65 quid in today's money. Would you pay 60, 65 pound or nearly, what is it, 75 to 80 dollars for this in today's money? Would you be happy handing that much money over and getting this home and playing a game like this? You take that scoreboard away, the screen is literally half the size of the screen vertically. It's a minute play area. 11 guys program this. 11 people. Uh, I mean, the graphics are quite nice, but the, the game itself is very cartoony and the frame rate is awful on the characters. There's no playability at all. Um, it's a terrible control system where you want to push forward into the screen, but you're suddenly putting your shield up. You have to completely let go of the controls for a split second and then push again to get moving. Otherwise, you stand there holding up your shield. It's really annoying. Uh, music's a bit lame, in my opinion, especially for 1990. And the price tag is, price tag is horrendous. Uh, and for 11 people coding it, no, getting straight on with it, that is a big skid mark down the toilet bowl. I'm going to give that 85 shits on the shitometer. So what do you think about that then, Dan? Let me know in the comments below, along with the rest of you. I'll always like to read your comments. Please do leave them below. Let me know what you think about this game. Do you justify a price tag like that? The playability, the frame rate, the music, take everything into account, the small, minute play area. There's no playability at all. It's fucking awful. And you're rescuing Richard III. What the fuck do you want to res res rescue him for, if the truth be told? I'll leave you to do your history checking on that. Um, I assume it's Richard III. It just does say Richard. It could be Richard the First or Second for all I know. Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to give it on the shitometer. Flush down the bog into the poop tube forever. Let me know what you think about this game. Right, that's it for me this edition of Shit Game Time. I hope I'll see you next week or hear from you next Friday around 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. I'll be kicking out another Shit Game Time video review. So please make sure you subscribe and click that uh, notification bell. Definitely click that thumbs up. It always helps the channel. And for the rest of you, again, please come forward if you want to request a Shit Game Time. Please do so. The video will come in the top left and corner along with three other random shit game types. And I might add, while I'm on the subject, um, again, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but there's been several requests for me to do Rise of the Robots. I am not doing Rise of the Robots on the Amiga 500 unless I paid a lot of money. Five pound per shit game time on the Amiga, th no more than three disc game. I use original hardware. Any more discs than that, I have to pay to get them done, to get them sent to me, because I can't do put ADFs onto um, real discs myself but you're asking me to do 11 to 14 disc game that's ridiculous so I'll tell you what I'll price myself out 50 quid any of you want me to do Rise of the Robots and Amiga I want 50 quid so it's up to you but there's no way I'm doing that game for five pound screw that I mean I'm pretty much out of pocket just charging five pounds so you know take it as you will if you want me to do that game yeah 50 quid at least then I'll, then I'll consider it until next week take care everyone Zeus out of shit, Phil.